Hi. Um, I thought I would take a, a little look at deinterlacing uh, using uh, using Nuke. Uh, I've seen a lot of learning materials on how to do this in After Effects, but not so much uh, not so much in in Nuke. Um, certainly, the uh, uh, the whole process has become a little less common. Um, because you don't tend to see interlaced footage quite as often these days but that's not to say that you don't see it and certainly if you're working with a footage shot with consumer cameras uh, quite often uh, you will get uh, you will be working with interlaced footage and of course interlaced footage causes this nasty uh, nasty sort of comb teeth effect caused by the field orders um, and um, and this is clearly the compositor's nightmare we need to get rid of this before we do any post effects okay so so nuke then Okay. Thankfully, it does have a interlace capability, um, but it's uh, but it's tucked away, and I think that's one of the reasons why I wanted just to explore this topic, because um, as I say, it's possibly because it's called on less and less these days. We access the deinterlace node. You'll see that if I start typing um, deinterlace, um, you'll see that it comes up, and that's because I've already activated it. But if you do that on yours, you may not get it. So I'll show you how to how to activate it. Okay. You have to come to this others and you have to come down to the bottom and I know this is off the screen capture software but You might just be picking up this update uh, It might just be on the on the very cusp of your of your of the of the video And the first time that you click on the all plugins you will be asked to update and this is essentially loads all the uh, Nodes that are hidden away in nuke into the uh, in, into the uh, into the software's memory So it then becomes active so if we click on this and then we come back into this come back down to all plugins again You'll now see that there's an alpha better sized List of nodes and everything's in here and You can see there that when alpha over D and I come to the top there you can see there's the interlace So I'm going to choose this and this opens up this little fella and what this is essentially is a is, it's kind of a special node called a gizmo um, and essentially, essentially what it is, it's kind of like a, a group of nodes um, that have been designed to fulfill a task and then pre-compiled, um, which allows us to basically drop it into any kind of any kind of pipe. Anyway, to access the underbelly of this, we have to uh, we have to open it. So let's uh, let's choose copy to group of the gizmo, and that obviously creates an instance of it. Once that's done, this is a basically a replica of this, so we can actually get rid of the de interlace now. And this is our group. Now again, we can't get at it directly until uh, by 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 clicking on it. We we just it just brings up the actual hood of the group. So to get into the underbelly, we just hit Control and Enter. And you can see now that that's our original node graph, and now we're into the we're into this gizmo, and we can see this how this is constructed. And I'll just spend a moment or two just to explain what these nodes are. Okay, we've got an input and an output, and this is a, this is standard with uh, with gizmos. The input allows us to receive a pipe from above, and the output allows us to take a pipe out from below. So it basically means that we can drop it into any part of a node pipe. Okay. The next thing that we've got is we've got a separation of the fields. So with interlaced footage, we have a lower and an upper field. So if we just click on one of these, you can see that this one is choosing the even or the lower field, and this one is choosing the odd or the upper field. Okay. So we will always have, with interlaced footage, we will always have these two. One will be set to odd, one will be set to even. We don't necessarily know which is which. Uh, quite often that's trial and error unless uh, it's been recorded during the uh, during the actual image capture process so at the moment these are set to this is set to lower field first with the uh, with the even number being on the on the first side and then the uh, and then the the odd numbers being on the on the right the next thing that we've got are reformat nodes and this basically means that we can use this gizmo to connect up to any footage so in this particular case if we look we're working with NTSC footage 720 by 480 so we need to set the format to match that so in this particular case 720 by 480 and we need to make sure that it's the same on both sides so obviously if we're working with 1080 footage or 720 footage or PAL widescreen or any other format that was interlaced then we would choose the right format and if it didn't exist we'd create it from down here but anyway this is the format for us 720 by 480 we've now set our uh, we've now set up our 
our our format we've set up our field order and then the last thing that happens is that our two streams are basically brought back in so if we just double click this we can see that we don't really have to do anything it just means that it's taking 50% from this side and 50% from this side and basically dissolving them back together and then the output as I've already explained okay so if we come back now and we just come into this and we drop this into the pipe we immediately see the deinterlacing effect okay so if we toggle this on and off we can see the before and the after we can also see the image jumping down slightly okay if we actually just zoom out so we can see the image and we just click toggle toggle this on and off we can see that it is actually altering the image within the frame itself it's just actually stretching the image down a little bit okay but anyway we can for most for most cases this will be fine with the director they won't uh, they won't necessarily care that there's been a slight deformation but who wanted to make sure it was exact then we could come back to this node tree and we could just drop a transform into the bottom of this and we said that it was actually extending its scale on the on the on its on its vertical so we'll just set this to minus one to try and cancel that out okay come back to this now and we'll just take a look at it we'll just toggle it on and off again now we can see now that the image is now static but the interlacing, interlacing is being addressed so I think that as a digital intermediate process which is which is what this this is I think the next uh, the next stage of the pipeline will be quite happy with what we've done with this particular image anyway use this workflow try this out yeah, because because it's a it's a it's a great it's a great little workflow when you're working with new you don't want to be jumping back back to programs like After Effects and things like that to solve this problem this is a perfectly legitimate way of sorting it out and obviously additional controls as well so that's the end of this tutorial I hope you found it useful